What's up guys, Tetra back from the nation's capital of Ottawa from that wedding. If you're following me on Twitter, which you should be anyways, uh, I had a wedding again. All this weekend, it was pretty exhausting. It was actually my very first Caucasian or white uh, wedding that I've ever been to, which was pretty interesting, but it wasn't the tr traditional white wedding. It was kind of a military thing so there are guys in uniforms and swords and horses and all that jazz I'm just I'm just joking uh, well just joking about the horses everything was pretty much what I said right there uh, so we had majors colonels etc etc friend of Tara's family it wasn't my family obviously because they were white but yeah I just got back from Ottawa last night uh, I know I promised uh, a video last night but I was just way too tired to do it so I'll do it now and I'm still pretty busy got a bunch of chores that I have to get done but while I'm out I might as well get this commentary done and uploading to YouTube for you guys to watch so obviously uh, we're playing with the M21 right here and pretty standard uh, sniper setup except for you're probably wondering why I have hardline on and the reason is, if you actually watched my sniper breakdown damage calculation video, which probably was one of my like very first 10 videos that I ever posted, I showed you guys that if you're rolling with a silenced uh, M21, then there's really no point to having stopping power on it. Uh, the only time you'll be getting one-shot kills uh, with a silencer is and stopping power is if you're going to be hitting for the head every single time. So unless you're a marksman or something, or have aimbot, uh, uh, you're not going to get that many one-shot kills. Yeah. So, I, and I crotch shot that guy <laughs> right in his junk. Uh, so yeah, well, that's why I'm rolling with hardline. And anytime I use a silence weapon in a free-for-all, the 7-9-11 combo works pretty well. And air support absolutely destroys on wasteland. But uh, these guys I'm playing with are pretty good. Uh, they shoot down my air support pretty quickly, so don't get too many kills with the with the planes, <laughs> I guess. And yeah, a lot of uh, sniper kills with in this gun, with this gun. And I'm not 100% sure if using an M21 is actually considered sniping, especially the way I'm using it right now. It's more like a spraying I guess uh, if you're using like a foul or something it's kind of just more like spraying but still change of pace of what you're normally used to right but yeah it's really only good if you're playing um, hardcore because in hardcore you only have like 30 health uh, I used to actually play a lot of hardcore hardcore back in COD 4 days but kind of gravitated towards regular matches in Modern Warfare 2 um, that's mainly because uh, I've been starting posting game. I started posting game gameplay with Modern Warfare 2, and people tend to like watching non-hardcore games because they're a little bit less campy than usual. But yeah, um, update-wise on me, uh, like I said, I just got back from the wedding today, last night, late last night. Um, the open lobby is coming up soon. Uh, it's coming up at 3K. And for all you who are wondering when I'm posting the videos on Puppy Toby, uh, it's probably going to be for the 3K video. Uh, <laughs> it was just for fun. So just wait on that. Stop messaging me. Ask me. I promised the dog and I didn't bring it. But it's coming. And uh, yeah. And like I said before, the open lobby is going to be on Xbox 360. Just to even things up since the last time was on PSN. But the kicker is to find out when it's going to be announced, you're going to actually have to follow me on Twitter. I will be announcing it through Twitter. I won't I won't be posting a video again like I did the last couple of times. So I know it's kind of unfair and somebody's going to be like, bleh, Twitter's for fags. But um, I, it seems like a lot of other directors use Twitter and I kind of want to get it going a bit. So yeah, uh, forewarned, um, if you miss the lobby and don't know what's going on, like I said, it's going to be announced to Twitter, so yeah. And, oh, other big news, uh, Brad, uh, you're probably all familiar with him. I'm the guy that I usually game with late at night, and he's listed in my other channels area, which you probably have already seen. Uh, he does excellent commentaries, and he's been recognized by that for that fact, and he's actually now become a uh, machinima director, so I suggest that you guys go over to his channel, uh, give him the congratulations, watch a couple of his videos, and yeah, it's nice to see that uh, people on Machinima r r recognize uh, 
good talent, unlike me. <laughs> they decided to sign me up for some reason. But yeah, anyways, um, yeah, that's great news for him. Uh, wish him the best of luck and start uh, looking forward to seeing videos he posts up on that channel. And that actually segues nicely into something I wanted to bring up. Uh, a lot of you guys send me questions um, asking me how exactly did I get on Machinima and uh, and what are the tricks to doing it. Um, to be honest, I personally think that I got lucky and just because Hutch r randomly saw one of my videos and he liked it and he gave me the thumbs up to the director's program. But other than that, it's a complete mystery to me how they go through uh, selecting their directors. Um, it has nothing to do with subscribers. I've seen some guys with uh, 2,000 subscribers get on the channel. I've seen some guys with like 30,000 subscribers. Um, it's a complete mystery to everyone. And I think that's it's like selecting the Pope. <laughs> no one knows exactly how it's done. But yeah, uh, so I I, can't, I really can't answer your questions in that regard. Uh, it's mainly, like I said, complete mystery to me. So, but uh, it seems like the, pe the majority of the people that they selected are pretty good. And I, like I said, I thought I got pretty lucky. Uh, I've been only doing this thing for about five months now, and there are like, some guys out there who've been doing it a way longer than I have, and they have like I don't know range of ten to fifteen thousand subscribers and. No, they haven't been picked up yet. So yeah, uh, I don't know. Like I said, I thought I got lucky just because Hutch saw one of my videos. And yeah, that's basically it on that subject. And got a month and a half again before school starts. So I'm just telling you guys now, um, I'm not going to be uploading as much as I normally would want to during school just because uh, school takes priority. And I'm entering my fourth and final year of university. So uh, I gotta really bear down, and then hopefully, um, once I write my LSATs, I'll be going to law school next year. So I gotta really uh, bear down on my studies. Um, I'm hoping what I'm planning to do is near the, at the end of the summer, I plan to actually like take a couple days to play this game pretty heavily and get some gameplay that I can kind of keep hidden away uh, and be posting regularly, so I don't actually have to be playing this game. So hopefully I can get a chance to do that, but uh, it seems to be harder, get, getting harder and harder these days to capture a good game just because uh, the people, only people playing this game left are people who actually uh, are really hardcore into it. You don't have the stragglers or the noobs anymore, so it gets a little bit uh, harder to capture gameplay. But other than free-for-all, uh, I can usually just jump in a free-for-all and catch uh, a pretty good game that's postable worthy, but... In the other games, such as uh, such as uh, the objective-based games, everyone online these days seems to be pretty try-hard. So I can't uh, kind of just sit back and own <laughs> as I normally would be able to. I actually have to play the objective, which you should be doing if you're playing objective-based games. You guys know my philosophy on that. So yeah, uh, like I said, videos will probably slow down during school. Please don't hate me. It's just that's just life, right? So yeah, the video is about to come to an end here. I uh, ran out of ammo, which you tend to do a lot with the M21 just because you're spraying. And I think this Barrett has uh, uh, FMJ and heartbeat sensor blinged up. And get a nice hit marker right there for some reason. And then finally hit this guy in final stand with a couple embarrassing shots. So yeah, sorry for the uh, lack of videos lately, but game ends here. Final score 30-2 with the M21 mostly. And yeah, thank you for watching. Check out my channel, uh, rate and comment on this video if you would please. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.